That's it. If, if you want to change your beliefs about your life and you want to change your life, you have to change the way you believe. And if you want to change your beliefs, you have to want it. I think wanting it is what's the desire is operative, is the operative word, right? The want, because if you're not really committed to that desire, you can't make that change. Gabrielle Bernstein, a role model for spiritual seekers. Wolf, do you ever future trip, like get really hung up about the future? You're going to say no. I know you're going to say that, but <laughs> no. is that, are you going to say no? I'm going to say no. For but sure. how do you not, man? How do you not? Um, I, f I feel very confident about what the future holds for me. Beautiful. Yeah, to be honest. I don't, I'm not anxious about the future at all. Where do you think you get that confidence from? Um, definitely from my mom speaking life into me at a young age. Yeah. She, she kind of assured me of who I would be, who yeah. I would become early. Uh -huh. And also just small progresses over time just made me feel more and more comfortable with the idea of like me becoming is going to happen. Me I, becoming is going to happen. Yeah. What did your mom teach you? She... She just taught me that I would be a great man one day. Yeah. She, she instilled that in me ex extremely early. Yeah. Yeah. So I believe I believed it. Yeah. Mm hmm Wow. Yeah, I believed it. Did she teach you a uh, spiritual or, or a religious faith? Yeah. She just she just told me that like my mom has a story that one day she went into church. It was her first time going to the church. She was just looking for a new church home, and um, the preacher. Before she could even find a seat to sit down, the preacher just stopped his entire sermon and just pointed to her and was like, your son is going to be um, essentially a, a great man. He's going to be a leader. He's going to be somebody people follow. And um, she just instilled that in me, just various things just like that. So, Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can testify to that because we've worked together, what, like three or four times now, five times maybe? Mm -hmm. And from day one that I met you, and sorry to put you on the spot and make you talk on the mic, but no, that's good. you're here to do big things. Mm -hmm. I've felt that energy from you mm -hmm. from the moment that we met. And we so much so that we request to be in the studio with you. Yeah. And I think that that message of greatness, that message of accepting our greatness mm -hmm. and conditioning ourselves mm -hmm. to believe in that greatness and not in like a phony way, in a genuine way. Yeah, for sure. Not everybody is blessed to have a mother like you have. That's true. But That's true. can we be that for ourselves? Can we be that internal parent for ourselves now? You have to be. We have to be. Mm -hmm. And I just want to really reflect back to you that that conditioning is actually manifesting. That's where worldly successes come from, not from... Yeah, hard work and good work, mm -hmm. but really from an inner core belief system. For sure. A belief system of I'm worthy. It, ha it has to be. It's unnegotiable. It has to be there. It has to be there. Mm -hmm. And so do you have friends and stuff in your life that like don't have that unshakable faith? 100%. What, we, what would you say to them? <sighs> I mean, I feel like I've said everything I could say to them. Yeah. You know, and I, go listen to Dear Gabby. Yeah, I've, <laughs> I've said everything I could say. Some people just understand. Some people want it, and some people don't. And there you go. That's the hard lessons I've I've learned. That's it. If if you want to change your beliefs about your life, and you want to change your life, you have to change the way you believe. Mm -hmm. And if you want to change your beliefs, you have to want it. I think wanting it is what's the desire is operative is the operative word, right? The want. Yeah, you got to want it. Because if you're not really committed to that desire, you can't make that change. Yeah, you can't make it. Yeah. Well, I really want you today to be a power of example for the listeners because it's it's not necessarily like, oh, I don't know, I don't know your history, but but let's just say like the gift that you were given was mm -hmm. this unshakable faith in your future. Mm -hmm. And not everybody has that, but we can have a quantum shift and experience that if we choose for it. Yeah, for sure. I definitely had that quantum shift in my own life where I was brought up with a lot of uncertainty, financial fear, mm -hmm. a lot of traumatic events in my childhood, a lot of things that would have put me on the wrong path and in many ways did early days. But I did have that quantum shift where I chose to believe something different. And I, I've always loved this, uh, this quote, this Joan of Arc quote, I am not afraid I was born to do this. And I want to let that 
inspire today's Q&A with our listeners, how we can have a quantum shift and move from any feelings of uncertainty and doubt to unshakable faith so we can be a, be a, be a wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Honor. Dude, can you come on the show more? Uh, yeah, anytime. You're so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, that's that's our that's our show today. How can we live with unshakable faith? And how can we trust in our future when our past has given us so much to not trust or so much so much fear, so much suffering? How can we have faith in a future? I want to bring that topic in big time today because there's so much suffering and a lot of the suffering that we're experiencing in the world, in our personal lives, collectively, a lot of that suffering is the repetition of old behavior, the repetition of belief systems from very, very young. And the more we build that momentum around those belief systems, the more those belief systems become our reality. In the case of Wolf here, you can hear, you know, he was given the gift of a belief system, believing in himself, having faith, having a attachment bond to a parent who said, you got this, man, you're going to be a beautiful, impactful soul. And that became the story of his life. Not a lot of us were pulled aside and we didn't have Wolf's mom. So how can we start to activate that presence in our own life right here, right now? Do you want to redo? Does everybody want to redo? Do you want a redo of your belief systems? Do you want to resurrect your thinking? Let Wolf be your inspiration today. And let's let's hear from our guests. I want to hear from our guests and I want to hear how I can give you a Dear Gabby moment of choosing to believe in yourself and your future. Let's go. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Good. How are you, Gabby? Have you been on the show before? I have. Yes. Welcome back, Kristen. How's it going? Nice. I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Great. Thank you. How can I help um, you? Um, well, the, the anxiety relief that you did on the um, previous episode really helped me. Um, and I've recently started to take um, some medication for anxiety. And I was really, really hesitant to, to, to do that, but um, I've been starting to feel relief. Um, and I've been, um, I've also on a previous episode, you told me to every evening to ask for some help from my guides to fall asleep. And that's been really helping. Um, but I'm just feeling really, I guess as much as I don't future trip, I think I, I still do in a certain level of not knowing what I'm meant to do here. What if I told you that what you're meant to do here right now is to just focus on your well-being and your sense of safety inside? That feels good. That feels good to you? That feels good. That's it, babe, because without that steadiness inside we can't be a channel through which we receive good orderly direction, God. Or we can't receive, we won't be able to receive the intuitive messages of this is your next right action, this is your impact, this is your purpose, this is your joy, this is your path, without that settled sense of certainty. So anyone that's listening is like, I really don't know where I should be going in life or what my purpose is. Well, that's not actually what we want to focus on right now. The focus has to be on my purpose is to feel good. My purpose is to get into a state of serenity and do whatever it takes to get there, whether it be medication, whether it be tapping, whether it be listening to Dear Gabby, meditating with me, whatever it takes to get there, therapy. I'm going to do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. And in that commitment, you actually are on the path to downloading your highest purpose in this lifetime. That is going to come to you when you're still enough to hear it. 
So keep doing what you're doing, all of the above. Congratulations on making the commitment to get psychiatric support that you needed. Congratulations on doing the meditations at night with your guides. I'm proud of you for feeling relief from the anxiety tapping episode. Congratulations. You're doing great. You're living your purpose right now. Thanks, Gabby. How do you feel right now? Good. Really good. That feels that feels good and real. And I think yeah. I needed to hear that. Yeah, real, right? Yeah. Nice, my love. Keep but keep coming back, Kristen. I want to hear all of what comes for you. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you, love. I love you, Gabby. I love you, sweetheart. Thank you for being back. I'm going to close the show with just another passage from this chapter in my newest book that will be out in the fall of 2024. You're getting a real sneak peek now into self-help. That's the title. When we start to witness and accept that we have the choice to heal in any given moment, we open our awareness to the energy of self. Without accepting this choice, we live in the belief that we are the victim of our triggers and our reactivity. Becoming aware of our choice gives us the power to know that there's somewhere else to turn, that in any given moment, we can turn inward. Choice is a muscle we must flex often. The more often we choose to check in, the less time we spend checked out. And so when we want to change our belief systems and adjust the stories from our past so that we can claim what our presence in this moment can be, the serenity, the peace, the gratitude, the purpose, the wholeness, so that we can have full faith in our future. It begins with that prayer. It begins with a choice. I choose to see peace instead of this. And in that moment, we pivot. We remember that we have a choice to turn inward rather than stay stuck in the perpetual loop and stories and beliefs from our past and temporarily suspend those beliefs and remember the presence and the light of who we are right here in this moment right now. What a gorgeous episode. Whew. Thank you guys. This was so beautiful. Leave us a review. Let me know how this show landed for you. Thank you so much for being part of this community. And we look forward to connecting more next week on Dear Gabby. If you like this video and you want to get more Gabby, check out the next one right over here.